Tree pollen affects many allergic patients. Many allergenic trees are abundant, large, and shed huge quantities of pollen. Typically, Trees shed their pollen in the springtime and are the first species that affect patients. Oak trees are among the most common and widespread of the allergenic trees. The USDA lists over 100 species of oak in the United States. Oaks tend to be cross-reactive and are found in every part of the country. Oak trees produce male flowers called catkins. These long, dangling catkins contain hundreds of individual male flowers, all of them producing pollen. Every species of oak tree produces catkins. Oak trees in the United States can be grouped into either the red oak or the white oak group. Leaves from species of the red oak group tend to be pointed, while those from the white oak group are usually rounded. Live oaks retain their leaves year-round and can be from either the red oak or white oak group. Oak leaves come in a wide variety of shapes, but all produce male catkins and acorns. Female oak flowers are located directly on the branches. After these have been fertilized by the male pollen, they give rise to acorns. Even after oak trees are done flowering, pollen may be spread from catkins that have fallen to the ground. Birch trees are important allergens, especially in the northern states. Birch trees produce male catkins that vary in shape depending on species. In the south, river birch is common and has this very distinctive bark that peels off. Alder trees are closely related to birch and are quite cross-reactive. Alder trees are common in the west and at higher elevations. Hickory trees can be important allergens. Male hickory catkins are similar to those of oak. Hickory trees are common from the northeast to the southern states. In the south, pecan is a common species of hickory. All of the species of hickory, including pecan, are cross-reactive. Female flowers found on the branches produce the fruit. When these ripen, the husk will peel back and reveal the typical pecan nut. Walnut trees are related to hickory. Native black walnut trees are found throughout the United States, although usually they are not in very high densities. In some locations, however, there are enough black walnut trees to be significant sources of allergens. Black walnut trees produce long male catkins and abundant pollen. Separate female flowers produce the walnuts. In addition to wild black walnuts, English walnuts are cultivated in orchards in the West. Ash, olive, and privet are all important allergens in the ash family. The pollen from each contains similar cross-reactive major allergens. Ash trees have separate male and female trees. These male flowers will produce and release pollen, as seen here in the flowers that have fallen on the ground. Female ash trees produce long flowers that mature into ash seeds. Olive pollen is one of the most important aeroallergens in California and other parts of the West. Olive is also a significant allergen in Spain, Italy, and the entire Mediterranean region. Olive trees produce thousands of flowers and large amounts of pollen. Privet is in the same family. Privet is grown widely as an ornamental plant or hedge throughout the United States, and privet extract is included in many skin test panels. Elm trees are sources of allergenic pollen and are found throughout the United States. The flowers are small and shed pollen for a fairly short period of time, and the small seeds mature quickly. Some species of elm blossom and shed pollen in the fall. Cedar elm or fall blooming elm is common in Texas and the southwest. Cedar elm leaves are small and the flowers are not very prominent. Maple trees are another widespread group of allergenic trees. Red maple trees are common in the northeastern United States and in early spring hillsides may have a reddish tint from the abundant flowers of red maple. The extended stamens on these flowers are producing pollen. Maples produce seeds with two wings. Different species of maple produce flowers with varied shapes and colors. Box elder is a common maple species. The leaf of box elder is not like the other maple leaves. It looks much more like an ash leaf and box elder is sometimes called ash leaf maple. The flowers of box elder have long stalks in the spring Box elder will go on to produce the typical maple seeds. 
Poplars and related species in the genus Populus are common and are allergenic. These closely related species are known by several common names, including poplar, cottonwood, and aspen. Cottonwood has separate male and female trees. Male catkins cover this tree, and each contains many pollen-producing flowers. The female catkins have a distinct structure. The female trees produce seeds which contain long fibers similar to cotton. Many allergic patients think that they are allergic to the cotton produced by cottonwood trees. However, cottonwood and poplar allergy is due to pollen from the male trees. Aspen trees are in the same genus and are found extensively in the west, especially at higher elevations. Willow trees are related to poplar and cottonwood, and all of these species tend to be cross-reactive. Willow male catkins can shed quite a lot of pollen. Juniper trees produce allergenic pollen. In areas where these trees are abundant, they are a prime cause of allergy. Some species of juniper are called cedar trees. These include eastern red cedar and mountain cedar. All juniper species produce similar allergens and are cross-reactive. Mountain cedar, or juniperus ashii, is an important allergen in Texas and other areas of the southwest. Mountain cedar grows as separate male and female trees. The small male cones at the tips of branches can release large clouds of pollen. Female juniper trees produce the familiar cones or berries. Sycamore trees are quite common in some cities. The round male flowers release pollen. Sycamore can be recognized by its typical mottled bark. Pine trees are common in many areas and produce large quantities of pollen. However, pine pollen is heavy and does not blow over wide areas. Many allergists do not consider pine to be a significant source of allergy, but in areas with large stands of pine, allergists often test patients for pine sensitivity.